The production of batteries for electric vehicles (EVs) is dominated by China. Since the world is our only home, it makes sense that climate change has become a hot topic. The problem of battery prices becomes increasingly obvious as the EV business expands. Since batteries are the most expensive part of an EV, producers are looking for less expensive, lighter, and more effective replacements. Thanks to the revolutionary sodium battery that the two biggest battery producers in the world, CATL and BYD, announced today, we are now closer than ever to realizing this ambition. The entire EV market could undergo a transformation because to this salt battery. But what really is this brand new sodium battery, and when can we anticipate using it? Join us as we examine its characteristics and development history. It's crucial to comprehend a few salient characteristics concerning sodium batteries before getting into the specifics. On the periodic table, sodium and lithium are close neighbors and have similar physical and chemical properties. However, Sodium is easier to extract because it is far more plentiful than lithium. In comparison to the difficult mining of lithium, sodium chloride, or table salt, has a simpler extraction procedure because sodium is present in it. Sodium batteries offer an advantage over lithium batteries in terms of recycling and their independence from rare earth elements, which frequently result in environmental problems and supply shortages. Sodium batteries are also more environmentally friendly and environmentally sustainable than lithium batteries. While sodium hydroxide is still reasonably priced, the cost of lithium hydroxide has soared recently. Clearly, sodium has a considerable cost advantage. The great energy density and performance of lithium-ion batteries, on the other hand, make them perfect for powerful and long-range EVs like Tesla models. But there are safety problems with lithium-ion batteries as well like thermal runaway, which can cause fires or explosions. Here, sodium ion batteries come into play by providing enhanced safety features and removing the possibility of thermal runaway. Cattle and BYD announced the creation of sodium ion batteries in July 2021. Sodium ion batteries from CATL have a slightly lower energy density than lithium iron phosphate LFP, batteries, at 160 kWh per kilogram. These sodium batteries have a number of benefits, including affordability, superior performance in cold climates, and improved safety measures. With its forthcoming sodium ion batteries, which are anticipated to go into commercial production by 2023, CATL hopes to reach an energy density of 200 watt hours per kilogram. At $77 per kilowatt hour, CATL's first generation sodium ion cells are already reasonably priced. The second generation is anticipated to cost a startling $40 per kilowatt hour. The early consensus among specialists in 2021 was that sodium ion batteries were only appropriate for particular uses, like energy storage and two-wheeled scooters. But when sodium ion battery technology advanced and lithium prices increased, sodium ion batteries became a practical substitute for electric vehicles. The viability of CATL's sodium ion batteries for EV power was confirmed in November 2022. Additionally, BYD revealed intentions to begin commercial production of a small electric hatchback powered by a sodium ion battery pack in 2023. The Cherry iCar, slated to hit the market by the end of this year, will feature CATL's sodium ion batteries, the company announced at the recent Shanghai Auto Show. Similar to this, BYD declared that the Seagull type of sodium ion batteries will begin mass production in the second half of 2023. Compared to older models that used lithium ion batteries, the new ones with sodium ion batteries provide a number of benefits. While the safety and cost effectiveness of sodium ion batteries have improved, they nevertheless have some drawbacks, particularly in terms of energy density. They are less suited for electric vehicles since more sodium ion batteries are needed to equal the energy capacity of lithium ion batteries. For grid scale battery storage, when space is not a concern, their lower energy density is less of an issue. China's monopoly on the lithium ion battery industry was intended to be lessened by the Inflation Reduction Act, which was passed in August 2022. The switch to sodium ion batteries, however, may potentially strengthen China's grip on the battery industry. A startling 16 of the 20 planned or under construction sodium battery factories worldwide are in China, giving one country access to approximately 95% of the world's sodium battery capacity. 
China has a dominance in the manufacture of lithium, but due to its inability to easily get the soda ash needed to make sodium batteries, it confronts a special challenge in this area. It's interesting to note that the United States, especially in southwestern Wyoming, holds over 90% of the world's easily mined soda ash reserves. Since it was developed more than 50 million years ago, this rich soda ash deposit has been exploited to supply the demands of the American glass manufacturing sector. This begs the question of whether the US will take use of this resource to dominate the rapidly growing sodium ion battery market. A promising possibility for the future of electric vehicles is sodium ion batteries. With sodium costing only a fraction of lithium, they are substantially less expensive than lithium ion batteries, opening the door to the possibility of more affordable and widely available electric vehicles. Additionally, sodium ion batteries are largely resistant to the problem of lithium ion batteries' performance degrading over time. This suggests that they might provide longer durability and dependability. In the same way that lithium ion technology was a decade ago, sodium ion technology is still in its infancy. In the years ahead, there is a lot of space for development and progress. As more sources are found and research and development for sodium ion technology is stepped up, lithium prices may continue to fall. In terms of soda ash reserves, the United States is in the lead, while China is at the forefront of basic research and development for sodium ion technology. Batteries have the potential to develop into an exciting and competitive industry. It is yet unclear if America will take advantage of the chance to advance sodium ion technology and lessen its reliance on China for battery manufacturing, or if it will fall behind in the race for the newest development in sustainable energy. The battery business is about to undergo a fascinating transition, but only time will tell. Please feel free to comment with your ideas on this subject.